Joining us now is Sonova CEO John Berger. John, what's driving and going to continue to drive solar adoption when uh, capital is harder to come by? Well, thanks for having me, John. You know, first, uh, we've seen certainly in Texas, but over the last few weeks, uh, a massive heat wave, a lot of weather. Uh, you, you can look at it towards climate change, but certainly very uh, tough weather on uh, folks. And that was coupled with ro rotating blackouts. Uh, we even had some of those in, in Puerto Rico of recent. And so that, that reliability issue for a growing number of customers is continue to escalate. Secondly, the utilities as monopolies have continued to raise rates despite deflation uh, starting to take hold in the economy. A lot of electric vehicles are being uh, purchased. Uh, certainly the price cuts there have led to uh, dramatic adoption. So we uh, have, uh, as an operator, the home is the, as the gas station, right? We're the gas station operator, if you will. Right. And then the, the last is the overall equipment cost uh, for solar and batteries is, is really in a deflationary moment right now. So it's uh, likely to bring in uh, you know, a more and more demand from consumers as prices drop. And that's what I wonder, too. How much are prices dropping compared to it's just expensive to, to purchase this, uh, get it installed, et cetera? I know that there are companies that, that allow financing, but, you know, financing these days, right, interest rates are up. So doesn't that affect the justification that you have to make for solar? Do you have to have an EV and think, okay, well, I'm going to be able to use more of this power in order to justify the expense. Well, absolutely. We're an energy as a service provider, John, so we do financing. Uh, we do uh, loans, the leases, the power purchase agreements. So you're, you're spot on there. And the cost of capital, of course, has gone way up. Uh, but the, the other side of that, again, going back into the utilities, their, their power rates have gone way up and in many cases even further percentage-wise than what the cost of capital has. Uh, secondly, that equipment coming down in cost. There's been a massive explosion in the number of manufacturers. And then on top of that, you're having the Invest Inflation Reduction Act uh, passed uh, last year. That's starting to bring more manufacturing here in the United States. And then the Euro European Union is also uh, ramping up manufacturing. So globally, you're producing a lot more batteries and solar panels and, and electric vehicles. And that's dropping the price uh, of those materially. And so how closely tied would you say EV purchase and adoption is to solar demand? Because I don't imagine if somebody is getting solar that they're necessarily going to run out and buy an EV. But if you're looking to buy an EV, I imagine that has you thinking about solar. But, but some people say that there's not that close a link. There is a close link. There certainly is an overlap. And I think that makes sense if you're looking to advance uh, your your needs uh, and, and requirements uh, in your home for solar and batteries and have more reliability, cleaner power, cheaper power, then you're looking towards new technologies uh, to do that, like from a firm like Sonova. You're also more inclined to look at new technologies in your car uh, to drive around in and vice versa. So there is a high degree of overlap there. I wouldn't say one purchase decision uh, means that you do the other right away. But we do find a high degree of overlap in consumers that our customers of ours typically do um, have electric vehicles. Are you limited by labor cost and availability right now? We are not. I continue to see an a, a employment situation where, uh, you know, candidly, the, the employer is becoming a little bit more in the driver's seat than, than the employee over the last uh, three years, certainly in comparison. And we see that progression continuing, particularly in the software, uh, in high technology jobs. Uh, you, you still, you know, it's always important to get the best people. We certainly have them here, and those are always in high demand. But the availability of these really uh, good folks, uh, both in the United States and globally, is, is certainly keeps uh, continuing to go up. And then overall, I would say the employment uh, picture is certainly more balanced and leaning towards uh, uh, more on the employer side in terms of favorability than it has been in the last couple of years. So that's that is really, frankly, not a concern at this point uh, for us.